It opens. Vaginas. Saturday morning. Got a jiu-jitsu private. And then Sugar's got a spar, so we're going to go help him get ready, possibly, if we get something popping here June 7th. But I thought I'd pop in the studio and uh, give you guys a little vid. I know a lot of you guys are from in your 20s to 30s or some even teenagers too, so... I've been around a lot of good coaches, Greg Jackson, Robert Follis. Um, Robert Follis was the coach of Randy Couture uh, when he won the belt, Misha Tate when she won the belt. Um, I was coached by Greg Jackson on the Bellator TV show, and then John Crouch at the lab, and Taquino Mendez. I've been around good coaches my whole life. So I want to talk a little bit about what coaches and me look for in a potential fighter. Um, someone who walks in the door and says, hey, I want to be a fighter. Um, I'll say, cool. I'll, show them, I'll, I'll tell them the times. Every, I've, I've heard this from hundreds of people. I want to be a fighter. I want to be a fighter. I say, cool. I'll tell them the times. These are the times you have to show up. And then first, we'll give it about two, three weeks and see how consistent they are. Consistency in anything. Consistency over time equals results in anything you want to do. You just got to be consistent. Sometimes in random things it's going to feel like you're not getting better, but you just got if you want to get good at something, you have to have consistency. It's the number one thing. Next, I'll kind of look at and talk to them about what their background was. Have they wrestled all their life because that's going to come into a play. Have they uh, played sports? Have they played basketball? Have they done athletic sports in their life? Um, that's going to be a big, a big thing. If you haven't, that's not a big deal because there's still been great fighters that have never played sports until they started fighting. Um, next, in practice, I'm going to put 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 people in positions, put guys in positions to see kind of how much will they have, how how tough are they, how weak are they. Of course, everyone when you're not in shape, you're going to give up to a point, but I can see in people. Um, their mental mental weakness and like I said mental weakness can be worked on and it can be grown but it takes time so that's the next thing I'm gonna look at how tough are they how kinda of stubborn are they when they get in a tough position and how easy do they easily do they just lay down or, or give up or start looking for a way out or start looking for excuses to take a break so I think that's a lot of people what people aren't expecting when it, they want to be a fighter they come in, they want to be cool, look cool on, on posts and for in front of chicks. But man, you have to put yourself in some bad situations a lot and painful situations um, where you're getting your body kicked, your leg kicked, your heart rate's at 190, you can barely think. But it's how, how do you act when you're super, super uncomfortable? What's your body language like? Um, next, you're going to go with guys that are better than you, 100%. You're not going to come in and beat up, beat up everyone in the room. And if you do, you should probably find a different room. So how do the people react to getting beat up by the more experienced guys, by the pros, by the guys that have been doing it for a long time? Because those guys are gonna beat you up. They're gonna test you mentally just like anything else. How do you react to it? Do you cry? Do you uh, leave? Do you not come back? How, how do you react to it? I was a hothead when I was, I think, 18 years old. I, I would get tapped out and I'd get so fucking pissed about losing but I really had to tune that in I come down I start training with Benson Henderson and start kind of seeing his attitude a little bit more he'd get beat up on days and it just wouldn't even affect him it wouldn't be any different than the day he went and beat people up so I was like okay that's kind of how I need to be if I get tapped out great I made a mistake um, if I get beat up one day that's okay maybe it was a long week a long week of training there's tons of different things or some days you just have a bad day and you get beat up but that doesn't define you as a fighter. So how, how what's your attitude when people kind of beat you up and you're getting the better of you? Probably next is how they learn. How do you learn? Are you paying attention when I'm teaching you? Are you taking these lessons in when I'm teaching you? Are you taking whatever coaches are teaching you? Are you taking it in? Are you listening? Or is your mind wandering somewhere else? Um, how well do you learn? And everyone learns in different ways, so that's a job as a coach to figure out kind of what way do they learn, what way do they soak up that information. That's, a, that's an important one, because some kids learn really quick. 
uh, they pick up things, they'll listen to you, they're focused, and you can see them when they're training, when, they're, when we're doing drills, that they're paying attention to their coach. But you can see the kids that aren't paying attention to their coach and just fucking, they're like, hey, what, what were we doing? Their mind's somewhere else when they're learning. Next is their athleticism. How, how athletic are you? And it's not a make or break because there's been great fighters also that aren't very athletic. So that's another job as the coach to see how athletic they are. See what kind of style you're going to give them. Because if they're a slow twitch muscle person, they're not going to be able to have the style like Sugar has. Hands down by his waist, moving around. Because Sugar's fucking athletic. He's quick. He can move out. He can move back. His eyes are really good. He has some of the best eyes in the game. But for a slow twitch person who's not super fast, I'm going to... You're going to have to teach them a different style. You're going to have to teach them to have really, really good defense and get close and wear someone out. And then with that fast twitch person, you're going to have to work on conserving their energy, not using that fast twitch muscle so much in the first round to where they're completely gassed out and they're shit for the second round. So that's the difference. And that, like I said, that's the job of the coach to see, watch the athleticism of your fighter, Watch their tendencies, watch the way they move, watch how explosive they are, watch how good their gas tank is, and kind of form a style around that specific fighter. Next, once you get going, it's important for your coach also to start giving you good matchups. As an amateur, it's okay, you can test yourself, you can see the different things. Um, you're going to see in fighting, a, fighting a good wrestler or fighting a good striker and just getting used to being in the cage and how does that fighter, how does he act when the lights turn on? Boom, the lights turn on, all the focus is on you, everyone's looking at you like, oh shit, you're going to fight this guy and you're about to walk to the cage, this big fucking moment. It's easy to watch on TV and get an idea, oh man, that'd feel cool, I'd feel good, but once, once, the, once it's there, depending on depending on you, depending on you mentally, like it, that's a fucking scary thing. And how do you react? Do you freeze up? Do you get in that cage and just kind of look for a way out right away? And again, these are all mental things that can be worked on, worked on with your coach, worked on with um, a psychologist or reading, reading. So those are things what any coach, I think any decent coach is going to look for when you go into the gym and say, hey, I want to be a fighter. I want to fight. That's what you can expect. And if you go in there, you're consistent. Uh, you're you're tough when you need to be tough. You're good at paying attention, paying attention and learning. Yeah, you could do good. Like I said, there's a lot of different things that can happen in a fight career. There's a lot of luck that goes on in fighting. Um, there's a lot of injuries. But if you play it right and you go into the gym, try to have those qualities, and then you'll have your best shot. Peace.